Hi, everybody. I'm Amanda Timchak. I'm a co-founder of the Pride Community Group. And along with Dr. Gen Genevieve Weber, Dr. Molly Ness, Allison Relier, and Danielle Tagger Epstein, we're so excited to see so many people in the crowd tonight. Pride is a relatively new group, so I'd like to take a minute to read our mission statement so that you all know what we're up to around town. Pride Community Group seeks to advocate for equality and inclusion, to celebrate the diversity of Rye and greater community, to engage in opportunities for education and challenge exclusion and discrimination. Pride began with a focus on supporting Rye's LGBTQ plus community members, and we broaden our focus to include the multitude of minority identities as defined by race, ethnicity, nationality, language, religion, disability status, and beyond. Through partnerships with established Rye organizations and stakeholders, Pride Community Group will work to develop and promote diverse, inclusive, and equitable programming and events in Rye. We stand with the goal to make all groups and individuals feel heard and supported. Pride Community Group is guided by three C's, communication, collaboration, and community building. The ongoing achievement of these objectives will lead to a greater sense of safety within Rye, where we all have the space to thrive. We firmly believe that the opportunity to engage with difference for youth and adults alike leads to greater empathy, understanding, and kindness. It's a long mission statement. <laughs> Tonight's ceremony is a beautiful show of support for Rye's LGBTQ plus community. And it shows that we, as a community, celebrate diversity and inclusion. The unity found through Pride events is essential to increasing awareness and advancing civil rights protections for LGBTQ plus individuals. On the heels of a week where healthcare protections for trans individuals were erased, followed just days later by the monumental ruling by the Supreme Court to affirm the rights of all LGBTQ plus people in the workspace. It's clear that fighting for the rights and the dignity of LGBTQ plus individuals is of utmost importance. <laughs> Pride stands with the black community who are fighting for equality and justice. And we will continue to work for the representation and celebration of our minority group community members here in Rye and beyond. I think everyone should take a look around here at this big crowd of people. We want all members who experience oppression on the basis of their identity to know we are here and we support you. We hope that we can help you to carry the heavy load of fighting for justice, protection, recognition, representation, and kindness. And now I turn it over to our resident expert, Hofstra professor, clinician, researcher, and generally just all around fabulous human being, Dr. Genevieve Weber. Hey everybody. Feels good to be here. Feels good to be here. I will forever be thankful to a professor at NYU who encouraged me to take a class called LGBT Clients in 2001. After that class, I knew my life was changed. So he will ever, forever be in my heart. The connection and strength we felt at Amanda's kitchen table the day the six of us met, the six co-founders of Pride, was something bigger than any controversial library event. We knew on that day that our strength and solidarity would hold the reins of a movement. We strategized for weeks. We tapped into each of our unique skills base, literacy, mental health, business, legal, parenting. We created our catchy name with Rye in it and a mission statement. We developed a Facebook page with a growing number of supporters and we press the gas pedal. Six months later, I'm ecstatic to share our collaborations and work. We connected with Rye Act, led by Nancy Pasquale. Nancy, where are you? If you don't know Nancy, you should. 
She's a community trailblazer and leader in the area of mental health and substance use. We connected with RIAC to discuss joining forces because it was well documented in the research that mental health distress, substance use, and suicide are higher among LGBTQ people owing to experiences with discrimination and oppression, both overt and covert. Right there, right there. As such, our work falls under the mission of Rye Act. So Nancy invited us to join the Rye Coalition and we attended our first meeting in person pre-COVID with our beautiful logo created by Allison Fadden of Allisonville Designs. Allison, pro bono. I pulled her away from dinner and said, we need you. And she spent all night creating this logo for us. We were embraced by the coalition and we are now a stakeholder at the table in devising community education and programming. Rye High School, led by Sandy Degenhart, what a gem, asked us in May if we wanted to participate. Is Sandy here? No, she wasn't able to make it. We were asked if we wanted to participate in the Rye High School Senior Intern Program. We were blessed with three student leaders, four, no, three student leaders, who, and we have four here tonight, who also run the Gender Sexuality Alliance student group at Rye High School. Small fact, research shows that communities with GSAs and schools with GSAs have better mental health for LGBT youth. Support our GSA. Where are you? Over there, GSAs. Together, these trailblazing seniors developed a series of newsletters comprised of information that they wanted us to know. As our good friend Nancy Pasquale said, prevention comes from the youth if you listen to them. We listened. Newsletter one was about basic language and definitions. Newsletter two focused on the intersectionality of identity, particularly sexual identity, gender identity, and race. Did you know that the average lifespan of a black transgender woman is 35 to 37 years? Let that sink in. Most of us wouldn't be here. I would not be here because I would have died from murder, suicide, or medical health conditions. Newsletter three is about mental health, substance use, and suicide. And newsletter four is about the Supreme Court decision and what this means for our youth, our LGBTQ youth. Newsletters can be picked up on the table. They were created 100% by our interns. How amazing is this work? And how lucky are we to have these trailblazers by our side? Round of applause for our GSA. Rye Next School District reached out to us. They heard about our collaborations and our community work and asked to join forces. We've met, we've talked, we've planned. Great things are on the horizon. One of our most visible uh, actions to date was our Pride, Pride flag sale. We knew it was time for a Pride Month, uh, Pride Month celebration community-wide and the beauty of rainbows painted across town seemed like a uh, natural initiative. In less than 36 hours, we sold out of our first shipment of 125 flags. So we ordered another 150 and guess what? We have about eight left. <laughs> That means 275 flags as of this weekend will be displayed in both homes and businesses. And to add to this beauty, Liz Woods from the Chamber of Commerce reached out to businesses to offer family sponsorships of flags. To date, 12 businesses have been matched with family sponsors. So I wanna thank Rye Recreation, Rye Youth Council, Rye YMCA, Rye Historical Society, Wolf Game Bankery, Soul Riders, Brava Dance Studio, on the Way Cafe, Sarza, Jason Meller Real Estate, and Pilates of Rye. Yeah. You lead by example in our community and deserve this expression of gratitude. There are flags left, so any businesses, reach out to me. <laughs> this is a movement, not a moment. This is about human rights. It is not to be confused with a cause or described as political agenda. It's about beating hearts and the desire to be loved and accepted and to love and accept others. We thank the city council for creating space for pride. And I mentioned this week in personal communication with the mayor, we look forward to continue conversations and most importantly actions led by our administration and schools. And he was very open to that idea. Let's all wrap our arms around our LGBTQ plus community 
and hold it tightly. Thank you. Dr. Molly Ness.